We should stop. You must rest. No. Please. I can make it. It is here. You must wait. On four days. Don't worry, they will be back soon. It's been a week. There is plenty of daylight here. It is still early. I'm gonna go up after. Investigate. What did you call it? Um, miraculous. Miraculous phenomena. Come on in. Check this out. 3D? Yeah. It's from that dig in Peru. I'm gonna show it to my students in half an hour. <laughs> see a piece of pottery right there? It's from the tombs. It's pretty cool, huh? Rotates 360. You can see the whole thing all the way around. The drawing on it is a bit unsettling. Ah, I know. Well, all the art from this dig seems to be that way. It's like uh, the gods were constantly angry. And they just waited for people to slip up so they could smite them. Indeed. Your class should enjoy it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? You know, it's almost like you're right there. Declan, I was wondering if I might have a word with you. It's all right, Declan. There's nothing wrong. What you got? She was burned in a fire ten years ago. Went through dozens of surgeries. No one's been able to repair the damage. Until last week. That's some surgery. Except it's not surgery. She saw some kind of holy man. She says he wore a flowing white robe. How did, how did he do this? She doesn't know, neither did the doctors. There doesn't seem to be any sort of explanation. I was hoping you and your psychiatrist friend might be interested in looking into it. Provide a medical and psychological perspective. These are generally hoaxes or uh, retouched photographs. If it's too good to be true, it's probably not true, that kind of thing. I'm sure that's so, but this situation is a bit different. How so? She's my sister. I talked to her myself, Meg. 
She says he touched her face. She felt some burning. She passed out and woke up looking like that a half an hour later. Well, she was probably out a lot longer than she thinks. Oh, even so, Peg, she was, she was only there for a week. Well, then it's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Come on. Come with me. When? Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. This Saturday? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. I, I'm busy. I have a conference and I have a meeting. Hey, come on. I've got stuff, too. Dr. Gale's not going to let me go after that. New semester starts the week after next. I just can't pick up and leave. Come on, why not? Yeah. Sure you can. You're going to miss a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to trek up a mountain and meet an Indian holy man? It's Native American. Indian. As in India. India? This Saturday? Mm hmm Oh, well, no way. Why not? Well, uh, because you need visas, vaccinations. Visas take a day, and you don't need a vaccine. You need vaccinations to go to India? Yeah, I mean, there are certain risks. You have hepatitis A, you have meningitis. Okay, so we're in a hospital, we get them here. I just can't go and take off to another country. Hey, come on, people do it all the time. A trip like this, you've got to plan properly. You've got to take certain precautions. You have to know where to stay, what to bring. I mean, you just... You hey, just... come on. We get we get our visas. We get our vaccination shots. We get our plane tickets and a couple of bucks. We, the rest of it works itself out when we get there. I'll tell you what. I'll arrange for a guide to meet us when we get off the plane. How about that? The guide meets us. He takes care of us. Takes us to our hotel or wherever we're going to stay. Tells us what to eat, what not to eat. And there we go. Declan, I don't like to do things this way. Make an exception, Peg. What if this is the real deal? Huh? What if this is the real McCoy? What if this guy really can't heal people? Just think of all the people you could help. Dude, I told you that's the only way you're getting on the plane. You're not bringing Mole to India. Hey. Sure I am. Why? What's wrong with Mole? I thought you liked him. I do. But you can't bring a dog to India. You can bring a dog to India. You just need a rabies certificate. But wouldn't it be better to put him in a kennel? I would, but none of them will take him back. Let me get that for you. Oh. Oh. What about Miranda? She could take care of him for you. Oh, you're coming with us. Yeah, Declan told me about it this morning. This morning? Yeah. And you're ready to go? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't you need a visa? I have one. For India? Yeah, I go there all the time. I love India. Hey, look out, look out. Hey, Declan, be careful. I just bought this luggage. And I spent a fortune on it. Peg? You have the money? No, you already have it. Didn't you exchange it? No, you're supposed to do that. No, then you told me you were going to. Why did I say that? When we were standing in line ready to board the plane. No, no, no. I th said I think we should exchange the money, but that's what I thought you were doing when you disappeared for half an hour. No, when I disappeared for half an hour, I went to get the coffee like I said I was going to. Oh, great. So how are we going to pay the guy? I have rupees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait a second. I'm missing a bag. It's impossible. These are basically all your bags. No, when we started the trip, I had four red bags, and now I have three. There was only three when we got on the bus. Well, why didn't you say something? Well, I'm supposed to count your bags for you? You said you'd watch the Look, bags. it's all right. It's okay. Well, I'll call the airlines for you, and they'll just hold on to one of them. Oh, no, no, no. I need what's in that bag, because it's... Guys, shouldn't we look for the guide? Yes. Right, the guy. The guy that was supposed to meet us at the airport. Who did not? And I gotta tell you, that's a very bad sign. Hey, look, I'll tell you, when you travel around the world, sometimes yeah, things happen. Yeah, when that's people say they're gonna be we'll somewhere, back they're gonna the be You gotta understand, you gotta accept you the little excesses. When you're in a foreign country, sometimes you can't always count on people to do exactly what they say. Thank you very much. What they mean is, they're gonna do their best. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, you know? This is gonna be fun. Hello? What was his name again? Iqbal. 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 Iqbal? No, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, is Iqbal here? No, 